Good morning. It's a day at sea on board Symphony of the Seas. Someone's going down the zip line right now, which we've been watching from our balcony, which is amazing. I'm waiting for someone to fall. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, it's a day at sea, um, and the air is so fresh. It's just so much fresher than it has been the past two days. In Mexico, they've been having this big seaweed problem. Yeah. And we looked it up because like we were like, we felt like we were breathing in... Not, fumes. Fumes, that's a good way of putting it. And so I looked up this article and it's called Sargassum Seaweed and it emits um, hydrogen sulfide gas and it causes all sorts of issues issues that we feel like we've been experiencing yeah this morning i woke up and i'm like i'm like oh my god i can breathe and like the air is fresh and it's so much lighter and it's like oh my god i didn't realize how bad it's been the past two days and so seaweed when it's in the water totally fine but when it comes up onto shore it starts like decaying i think they use the word like oxidizing and that's when it starts emitting these like gases that are toxic to humans. We've been to Cozumel before, we didn't have this problem. They said it's seaweed season, so yeah. right now it's the beginning of March, so I don't know when the season starts and ends, but like springtime is maybe seaweed season. Yeah, and I also think like my breathing is very like sensitive, like when we go to the casino and someone's smoking next yeah. to me, I, I, it's in my throat, I get a headache. And like, that's what I was feeling because of the seaweed. It sounds crazy. It does sound crazy, but I looked it up, there's an article. There was one uh, particular point of the Jeep ride yesterday where we drove by literally piles, like huge piles on the beach of seaweed. And we rolled down the windows for like a hot second. And it literally burned your eyes. It like, was so smelly too. It's like you can smell these gases. Yeah. And it's not good. You could, it was, Literally, it was like a toxic gas in the air. It was, they said it smells like rotten eggs, and that's yeah. exactly what we smelled. Anyway, enough about that. <laughs> Let's go eat food. We're gonna go right down to Johnny Rockets for our breakfast right there on the boardwalk. Okay, we're down at the boardwalk, going to Johnny Rockets. My parents rope dropped Johnny Rockets this morning. We couldn't, we couldn't make it. We couldn't wake up in time and enough to eat breakfast with them, so it's just gonna be us this morning here. So here's the menu. Everything is free, except for the premium items which I think it's very funny that there is a breakfast burger, which is just a burger, but they put a fried egg on it, so that makes it breakfast. I also like that there's a bacon shake, oh. which is also just kind of like a vanilla milkshake with maple syrup and bacon garnish. If you put bacon or an egg on anything, it becomes a breakfast item. Exactly. Like That's the law. A breakfast pizza that just has egg on it. And it tastes good. And now it's a breakfast item. What'd you get? I got the pancakes with a side of bacon. I got the BLTE. The E is for egg, so it's a breakfast BLT. It looks good. I like my bacon nice and floppy. I want it to be more like ham than bacon. Yeah. This is a good piece of bacon, and I think people who like crispy bacon are stupid. I agree. Breakfast was really good. My B E L T was actually very, very good. My um, B bacon was very good. I love Johnny Rockets for breakfast. Like I think that's such a nice option and it was free. Like when free. you go for lunch I, or dinner, it's not free, but breakfast is free. I feel like a lot of people don't know about it too. Yeah. It's only on Oasis class. Yeah, for breakfast, yeah. But I need to wake up with my Starbucks now. Yeah, you have to supplement your Johnny Rockets with a little Starbucks. This Starbucks and many other Starbucks on other ships, like the crew will remember your drink. Like after like a day, like this guy remembered my drink after one day. That's pretty awesome because I don't really know the name of my drink, so I wonder if he'll remember mine. Yeah, I'm getting my, my gold stars and my gold balloons. I'm getting everything <laughs> right now. We walked up, he knew my name, he knew my drink. That's amazing. It was so impressive. Now, he didn't know my name, but I don't order as much as Brian, so I, I forgave him. But like, ah, oh, that's so cool, it's so nice. And it's like, it's almost every ship where they, they can remember, it's amazing. Pretty amazing. A lot of the crew has great memory. There was another crew member that had good memory. Who was I it? think someone in the casino knew exactly oh, yeah. your name, your parents' name, my name. It was crazy, because it was like the four of us, we like sat down at the roulette table, 
And then like the next day, he remembered all of our names. It's crazy. The crew here is good. Impressive. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna get caught in a machine and die. <laughs> We're doing a tour of the kitchen and we just read the description and it said that we can't wear shorts or skirts and like so I'm like, basically like, wearing like shorts and a skirt all in one and but like no it has to be closed toed shoes and you're in like sandals so we definitely need to go get changed because yeah. I need to do jeans and my sneakers and all that good stuff so I just noticed something this is a coffee shop sometimes people come to coffee shops to like work right yep yep so there's plugs oh. here so you, maybe you could bring your laptop or you could charge your phone I don't know how many more there are but like this could be a place that you come work on a cruise ship that is cool do that but they're getting ready for the sail in the promenade it's you know That's when cheap. we first started cruising this was two for 20 t's and two for 30. inflation has hit the tea industry so now it's two for 30. wow we should have gotten them while we while we could you know people comment on our videos and go oh can i work like do you think i could work from the ship or like even like or can i do my classwork or can i join a, a zoom meeting and it's like you can't and like that the honest truth is like you cannot rely on the ship internet even with starlink you can't if you can do your work or your schoolwork without internet yes by all means come on board do it but, but if, if you, you need internet i don't think you if, should if you have a meeting like it's not gonna work i'm sorry yeah. to say because yeah. otherwise we probably would try <laughs> i think we would if maybe your job is not so like zoom meeting yeah. heavy then maybe you could yeah but we're gonna go in the anyway, shop. Yeah, now. we're gonna check out the shop. It's very busy because everybody, this needs to be bigger. People want the Symphony merch. Like, nobody's in any of the other shops, but yeah. everyone's in this one. Okay, we got a bag. What, what a great cruise line that offers bags in their stores <laughs> at Unlike Disney. Some others. And it's a nice bag, too. And that's all yeah. we got. We got the bag, and that's and it. And that's it. Well, let's, <laughs> let's see. We have to reveal what we've. How are we gonna do that? We both have. I'll hold your drink. Brian got. This lovely, amazing, I can't even tell you how good this feels to touch. And it's a gray polo, and it's got Symphony of the Seas on it. It's not just Royal, it's Symphony of the Seas. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before, I don't think. Yeah, that's like, pretty nice. Polo? I've never seen that. that. Now, what did Carrie get? And by the way, we got a Diamond Plus discount in the store. I think it was like 15% off. That's pretty nice. Carrie got a beautiful, wonderful, amazing sweatshirt. It looks really nice. If they had my size, I would have got the same thing. And we would have matched. And it's nice and fuzzy on the inside. Okay, the Starbucks is burning me. Okay. It's nice and fuzzy on the inside. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's That's cool. part of the selling point for me. Yeah. Oh, there's they're doing a veterans thing. Wow. I saw that on the cruise compass, but I didn't know what it was. It's pretty. There's a big American flag. I don't know if they do this on every cruise. I've, I don't think I've seen this before. Yeah, we gotta go change so we can't see what it is, but I don't know. We just got changed. The most um, magical thing happened. We went, so we had to go back to our room, put some pants on, and our, we ran to our stateroom attendant, and um, he was like, he was like, he was telling us that the towel animal he's gonna make for us tonight is super rare he's like i never make this towel animal but i'm gonna make it for you he said it's like really special and super rare so he's like hyping us up for it obviously he saw our magnets and knows that we like them yeah he was <laughs> it's so funny we kind of like disassemble the towel animals and like hide them so that they don't because take them away them. because because i i worry that if we leave them out they'll either like use the same towel to make a different animal or just put the towel like take the towel away. I don't know. So like I save them and like hide them in the closet and stuff. So he, he, he like, asked us, he was like, where have they been going? <laughs> <laughs> so we had to tell him our secrets. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm hiding them so, <laughs> so that we could save them. <laughs> that it was, was really so funny. funny. <laughs> okay, here's the tour we're doing. It's called Sip Tour Brunch. Now normally this comes with like mimosas and brunch, but we're gonna skip that. We basically signed up for because we want to see the tour of the kitchen. And obviously we don't drink, so we don't want the mimosas, but we still felt like it was worth the price. It was like 40 or $50 a person. Yeah. Um, we're paying for the tour. Yeah, I really want to see the kitchen, so I think it's worth it. So we're going to the dining room okay. right now. I don't think we can film. Well, I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, we're starting our tour in the dining room. They um, said that we could film. They said they, we can record and take photos and they have nothing to hide. Yeah. So. 
Because they got a 100 out of 100 on their CDC score. Yeah. And people are wearing flip flops. They're wearing shorts. So, so we didn't really have to change. I didn't think we had anything. To, we shouldn't have worried about the dress code. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're going into the secret doors. Whoa. Okay, so we're in. I guess this is where they're going to put all the Caesar salads for dinner or lunch, I guess. This is the bar where you get your soda and ice and stuff. They have a ton of wine and alcohol back there. So this is where they do some of the dishwashing. He said they sanitize all the dishes. It gets very hot so that all the germs die. They were talking to us about the different types of trash cans, how like one is for like recycling, one is for yeah. trash, all that good stuff. They like sort everything by type. Yeah. Wow, this is really interesting. This is the amount of power that they're using. This is really crazy. I guess this is what the, so we're in the second galley, I guess, and this is all the power information. I would have never thought that they were like keeping track of that. Now here's, um, they're cooking up some stuff in there right now. It's crazy. So we made it to the bakery section now, and he said that they use a thousand, over one thousand pounds of flour a day. It's crazy. Um, where they bake buns, donuts, um, Look at a it. bunch of types of bread. That's when I grab some. It's very loud in here. So this is an active galley. People are working right now. Um, he said even though they bake a ton of the bread, they still buy outside. Some of the stuff is still bought. This is hot. Don't touch that. They told us we cannot touch anything because some things may be hot. I feel like this. This feels hot. Yeah. We got trays of donuts and um those cinnamon roll things i love yeah cinnamon rolls oh yeah we got those in the cafe promenade all the time yeah. oh here's the flour oh here's some of the flour oh my god and the dough oh my god the mixing bowl of this thing wow. oh my god look how much it's hard to even get a sense of scale here wow they're like actively working right now Oh, it smells so good in here. Seriously. Breakfast rolls being baked right now. Danishes. It's cool that they, it, it says on there and the name of it and a photo of what they're baking. I really like that. We That's need this really at nice. home in our oven. Yeah. Look at how much butter. Oh my God, pounds and pounds of butter. Oh, are those those ones from Jamie's? Oh my God, it looks like the Jamie's. Garlic um, nuts? Garlic nuts, yeah, it looks like We're gonna eat those tonight. Yeah. It's very hard to hear a tour guide because it's very loud. It's an active galley right now, so... I really feel like I'm just here for the sights, yeah. the sounds. But the sights alone are worth it. Like, yes. It's really cool. It's so cool. And it smells really good right now. Yes. Look at that seasoning. I'm not sure what section we're in now, but um, obviously the, the main dining room is open for brunch right now, so they might be working on brunch things. I'm not really sure. I don't know if they're prepping for dinner or lunch or they're working on current meals. I'm not really sure. Brian used to work at Five Guys. Yeah. And I used to work for a hotel and oftentimes I'd have to go take pictures of our restaurant food. And so I've been into like a restaurant kitchen before and obviously you have too. But this is like... It's nothing like it's it. It's way bigger. It's and insane. The scale of it is huge. Yeah. You know the, the, the tops of the plates that they give you at dinner? Like, look, there's just hundreds up here. It just goes all the way down there. I can't describe how much, like, grander this is than a normal kitchen. Here's all the trays for the escargot. Literally hundreds of them. By the way, I'm shocked that we don't have to wear a hairnet in here, but... They did say Symphony scored a 100% on their CDC test, so... They're not worried about it. I guess they know what they're doing. My French onion soup. Oh, the French onion soup bowls. But it's funny that we were talking about them, like, washing off of the baked-on cheese on the dish and, like... Clearly it comes off. Clearly it comes off. They're all very clean. Good morning, Symphony of the Sea crew. Don't forget we are friendly, we are passionate, and we are confident, and of us, wash your hands as often as possible. That's all for now. Ciao, ciao. That was so cool. That, that was a crew announcement. I didn't know they did that. And they're having cake in the crew windjammer for International Women's Day. They have to pick up their packages before 2 p.m. tomorrow because they're setting sail for Europe. 
something about I-95. Yeah, that was really cool. That was cool that we got to hear that. That's the best part of this whole thing. Yeah. Like they were talking about like what's for lunch and the crew windjammer. Like yeah, they were saying if you're free, we're gonna sail away from Miami for the last time tomorrow, and yeah, so like so come party with us and get some free soda. They said. Yeah. It looks like we're leaving the galley now and heading back into the main dining room. Now they're doing um, free mimosa, but we're gonna skip that. Yeah, so they have champagne, mimosa, and orange juice. But I think we're gonna head out and just um, have lunch with my parents. Oh, it looks like there is a special menu for the tour. I don't think it looks too different than like the normal brunch, brunch menu. The main dining room menu. So yeah, we're just gonna head out. Um, you know, you can just pay for the tour if you want and just skip out on the brunch. Because we just ate Johnny Rockets. And we're about to go to... We're going to go to Coastal Kitchen for lunch, so... But you can do main dining room brunch, you know, on, I think, sea days, so... Yeah, pretty similar menu. Yeah, it's a similar menu, and obviously we're not... We don't want the mimosas, so... That was so cool, though. That was really cool. I, would, I wish I wish we had a person that we could hear a little bit better. Yeah, our guy was a little soft-spoken, but... So, I would definitely do it again. Yeah, I... I would definitely recommend it. That was really cool. Me too. W worth the price, I think, because we've never seen it. We've never seen that on all of our cruises, obviously. And so like great. that kitchen is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we found this art piece, and it's three chefs, but they're drying themselves. And I think the middle guy is doing the best job. It's, like, it's really weird. It's like it almost seems like three D. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. We never noticed this on our cruise. It's day five and we haven't noticed this. Something I, I noticed, which I thought was kind of funny, is our stateroom attendant, who's great by the way, it says loft attendant. This is not a stateroom attendant. This is a loft attendant. Isn't that funny that they like distinguish that? So this is, this is the dog from before. He asked us, or he told us that he normally lays them over here. We're gonna do that so that when he comes to the room later, you know. Oh, yeah. Where's the other one? It's in the other drawer. So now we have our collection here in the Gus ecosystem. It kind of looks like, you know. The Gus Garden. Oh, the Gus Garden. Now, some of these were a little, they were harmed in transportation. <laughs> but that's but okay. okay. Yeah, it's okay. We still love them equally. Damaged in transit. Oh. So for lunch today, we're on deck 17, which is the same deck as our room, and we're gonna try out Coastal Kitchen for lunch, which is an exclusive thing for Sky Class and Star Class. So we're Sky, so we are eligible for lunch and breakfast and dinner here. Now, we didn't get to go to Perfect Day at Coco Kit this uh, trip, so we're gonna get our chicken sandwich from here. But it's not the same, it's different. No, but... of course, but we're gonna check this one out. Yeah, so here we are. Very nice views. We're at the top of the ship, basically. It's right next to the suite lounge. It looks really nice in here, much better than the coastal kitchen that we saw on Ovation. And here's the view from our table. We're looking down into Central Park, which is really cool. And then the pool deck. And I think the only other time we've eaten at Coastal Kitchen was on our Alaska cruise. Yeah, and it was just for dinner, like, once. Yeah, this is our first lunch. There's onion rings. This looks so good and it smells so that. good. Oh my gosh. Will this be the perfect day chicken sandwich? It better. <laughs> so we got the royal chicken sandwich, no avocado. The plate is so warm it is. too. It's burning me. I have burns. I literally have burns now. I got the same thing. Oh, Just a nice so light good. lunch. Nothing too big. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe how good this looks. Wow. Is that fry pre-dipped or did you do that? I did that. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine they like lined up the fries in the ketchup? They should. <laughs> okay, that was really good, but I don't think it beats the Coco Key chicken. No, I think, you know, it's too gourmet. We don't do gourmet food. What do you, do you agree though? Yeah, I think that there's like a special sauce on the perfect day chicken sandwich that's just... Yeah, but this was really good. It was so tasty. Show your plate, it's like gone. Whoops. <laughs> So I got the honey maple pie for dessert, and it looks really yummy. I got nothing for dessert, because if I eat anything more, I'll die. I'm okay with dying for this. Okay, after that big lunch, it's time for us to check out the perfect storm water slides. Because you know what they say, what? definitely go swimming after you eat. <laughs> yeah. But also, we're going to check out the sweet sun deck. I think we're going to try that out first. What's kind of funny about, like, like, if you're in a suite, you 
most likely have a really nice balcony. And so you don't really need the suite, Sun Deck, because you have such a nice balcony on, in your stateroom. But you have it anyway. Like, so that's why we haven't, we haven't been up here yet the whole cruise because we love our balcony so much. So this is our first time coming up here. Under, it's, it's behind a locked gate. I think Oasis class is the only class that has like a locked gate entrance to a sweet sun deck area. I mean, I don't really know. I don't know either, but I made that up. Wow, okay, I didn't know that there was a bar up here. <laughs> and a hot tub. Wait, what? I didn't know about the hot tub. Did you? Nice. I kind of did. Oh my God. I looked at the deck map. Oh my God, I did not know that there was a hot tub. Look how nice and shaded that is. Oh my god, so here's the water slides right here. So it's right next to the water slides. And look how cushy the chairs are. Oh my god, look at these day beds. Wow. I didn't know there was a private hot tub. I would have like wanted to come up here sooner. Okay, so there's the toilet bowl slide. Okay, so it wraps all the way around here too. Wow. It's just because our balcony is so nice that like, it's kind of nice to be in your own private area too. Oh, and I can overlook all the peasants in this area. Wait, what is this? So that's the solarium down there. What is this area? This looks funky. Oh, it's windy. Wow, it's very windy, but there's... <laughs> Please do not climb. Wow, it's a piece of art here. So this is going to be the very front of the ship, I think. Yeah, so we're above the solarium. We're above that art sculpture. And there's the helipad way down there. I did not know this was this big or that this was here. This is crazy. It is pretty huge. It's kind of cool that we can see the top of the art sculpture. Too. Yeah. It's funky how there's like wiring around it. Yeah. Maybe tonight we come and do the hot tub. Hot tub here? That sounds cool. We'll probably have it all, all to ourselves, you know? Okay, then it loops all the way back around again. So it goes in a complete circle. So here's the solarium. We're above the solarium area. And then here's the hot tub. I could not believe we didn't know about this. I mean, I did know about it. I guess we didn't have time. That's the thing about Oasis class is like, you're not gonna have time to do everything. And it's a five night cruise. Yeah, we just did, literally did not have the time. Because you know, when you're napping for half the day. And then what can you do? Yeah. And then I love the views of like Central Park. Like when you look down into Central Park, it looks so cool. It amazes me how wide Oasis class is. It's truly amazing. and. The water slide is kind of dropping a little bit, like like a couple drops of water are going down. So if you're feeling it down in Central Park, look up to the water slide. Yeah. And then there's, you know, that amazing crane to put all the trees in Central Park. Okay, you're gonna go down the slide? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stay here while you go down first, and then I'm gonna try to get a photo of you going down it. Okay. And then I'll go second. Okay, I'm gonna be in there. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Okay, there she goes. Good luck. <laughs> there she goes. She got a little stuck, that's okay. A lot of people were getting stuck. <laughs> How was it? It was good. It was kind of dizzying because like you go round and round. And then I think if you're either heavier or like lighter, like a kid, it'll work better. I was almost like the most imperfect weight for it. I like ended up on the complete other side of the hole and had to keep pushing. Yeah. So at the um the sweet sun deck the sweet deck zone. They have chips. Uh, and, um, cheddar and sour cream. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, water. With fruit. With fruit. And Fancy. Then, of course, like probably a full bar. And without really waiting in line, which is probably the main perk. Attraction, yes. You got a Shirley Temple, which they should just call it the Red 40 special. <laughs> causing unknown negative health effects. I mean, this isn't everything. You should be saying that when I eat my jelly beans and stuff too. That's true. That guy almost went in backwards. He had to like correct himself. It's kind of fun to watch the people go down. It is. So there's one of these at Virginia Beach at a water park there. And I was always afraid to go on it as a kid. So I never went. But instead of just one hole, 
the entire bottom is like a big hole. Oh, I've seen so that you before. can go in at any place. So wherever you kind of end up is yeah. where you go down. And I think that's kind of what this one's flaw is, is that you have to like go around and find where the hole is. Yeah, like depending on your weight, like some people go around and around and around and some people just go like around like once. And, get and stuck. if you're like me, you get a half turn and you get stuck. Yeah. But I've seen some bigger guys like get some serious speed. They go like three times around. Yeah. I wonder if one's gonna come down. This is gonna what this is gonna be what happened to me. Oh. Oh. I like that though. Like you go around once. And okay, I think this guy's gonna get some speed. Let's see. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> nice. He really did it right. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna chill out here until the next meal, really. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, we have dinner in like three hours, so I think we're just gonna be hanging out here for the next three hours. I don't know. Well, I gotta shower. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna shower, but besides that, I think we're just gonna just lay around and enjoy the, the sea day. I'm strolling through Central Park. Wow. I'm on my way to eat Italian food. What a great moment. Just strolling through Central Park on one of the world's best ships. Is anything better? No, because I know I'm about to get Italian food. And the epic brownie. Yeah. Yeah, so tonight we're going to Jamie's Italian. Seems like they've changed the menu. Either they've changed the menu or renamed it. I don't really know. But the epic brownie is not on there anymore, but it's called something else. Yeah, the epic brownie is there, but your burger really is not there. Yeah, my favorite thing, the burger is gone. So I don't know if it's just this ship or what. But wasn't it the burger in the Hall of Fame? I don't know, probably. So like, I don't know. If that can stay, can it stay? I don't know if it's just this ship or what. And then here we go, Symphony of the Seas, 2018. The year it was built, or probably the year it was finished being built. So here's the menu, the J.I. burger is missing. Very sad, not sure if it's just this ship or if that's the new menu for this restaurant. I don't know, but it's really a, a crime. So for tonight's dinner time question, by the way, we do a dinner time question every night. So leave us a comment below with your question. But tonight we're here with Brian's parents. So we're gonna let Mrs. Carrie give us a question. Fire away. Okay, so what was your favorite cabin ever? So I think we should rank, obviously it's one of the suites that we've had. So I think we should do like the best, like first place, second place, third place. Yeah, so basically the options are the Disney Wish Concierge One Bedroom. Yep. Then we have Royal Caribbean Royal Suite. And then we have Royal Caribbean Crown Loft Suite, which is what we currently have on this cruise ship. Yeah. So. So we've talked about this before. Royal Suite number one because of the hot tub. Hot tub, really spacious suite. It's basically bigger yeah. than our townhouse it that we have bigger. at home. The bathroom was amazing. Like we could run from one side of it to the other. It was that long, like gorgeous room. Second place is the Disney Wish Concierge One Bedroom. That actually does beat the Crown Loft Suite that we're in. It's gorgeous. Like yeah. the decor in there is just so light and airy and like, it just has so many nice finishing touches that make it feel so like homey. The, the bed is really nice. It's um, very functional too. Like I feel like there's a lot of visible the, space. The Crown Loft Suite isn't very functional because of the stairs. So that's why the Crown Loft is third place. I that's what we're like, in right now. Yeah, it's a beautiful suite and you should absolutely get it. And we're being stupid when we complain about this, but like I have a very heavy suitcase because I like yeah. to pack my entire closet and we had to bring it up the stairs for us. I know. <laughs> it, it's funny to complain about that because the room is so amazing and like the bathrooms weren't like overwhelmingly wow like they were in the other two suites that we've yeah. had and so i think that's why it ranks number three yeah i already took a bite <laughs> this is my tagliatelle bolognese and it looks very good and i just tasted it and it is very good okay so i got the risotto and he told me to cut it and then like Stir mix it. it all around. So I'm gonna do that right now. I don't. Why, why do I cut it first? I don't know. I think to like you know mix it all up. But it's like melting and it's getting all up in there. Looks good. It does. Bon appetit. I miss my burger. 
So we got the new version of the Epic Brownie. I'm not really sure if it's different. It, so it is. Before, I mean, it, was, it was like a thicker brownie. Okay. And it was like gooey. Now it's thinner and like thicker, richer. Okay, do you think it's better? I kind of think it's worse. Okay. I lied to the waiter. Okay. But what can I do? The Epic Brownie was one of my favorite cruise food items of all time. It was at Jamie's. Now they've renamed it. What is it called? The Decadent Brownie? Warm Brownie. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why you would change it. I don't... It was in the Hall of Fame. We know the name changed. We don't know much about the recipe, but it's like the salted caramel ice cream. The ice cream's the same. The popcorn's the same. It's the brownie that's different. So taste it. Let's see. Let's see. It is different. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, it's not as good. I know. I think it can still be in the Hall of Fame, though. I'm not ready to... Bump it. Remove it from the Hall of Fame, but... Things have changed. It's sad. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to bash this because this is still amazing. Definitely get it. Um, We just learned that the captain sat here before us, and he also ordered the same non-alcoholic specialty lemonade that Carrie just got. It's like a sparkling lemonade, and if the captain drinks it, so do I. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we're heading back to our room, and we are so excited to see our super special, hyped up towel animal that our attendant has left for us. I, he said it was like the most amazing towel animal we've ever seen. He said that he never makes this one, but he's gonna make it special for us. This better be good. Better be good. Oh, come on. Oh my God. Please. Okay, the face is different. Is there another one somewhere? Cause like, this is nothing. This, this cannot be. <laughs> this does not live up to my hyped up expectations. I wonder if he forgot. No, he didn't forget. Did he forget he was going to do an extra special? No, he just... I mean... He overhyped. Not to say this isn't extra special. It's regular amounts of special. Are we, are we bad people for thinking this? His mouth is open. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Well, we've had an amazing cruise. We have- Here's the proof. Gus Garden. If you don't have a Gus Garden, then get out of here. We're on our way back to Miami. We'll be there tomorrow morning. We're not excited about it because that means- Work. Because that means we have to go back to work and that's not good. Anyway, we're excited to go home, see our pets and scratch off that poster. Come in. Ready to scratch off Symphony? Okay. We're back home so we can scratch Symphony off of our poster. You know what's crazy? This is actually our 10th Royal Caribbean ship that we're scratching off. That's pretty amazing. And Comet's scratching too. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be part of it. <laughs> but yeah, we've been on 10 Royal ships now. Symphony was the 10th one. Okay, perfect. So our next cruise actually isn't a Royal Caribbean cruise. So. What is it? I guess you'll find out right now. Okay. Coming up in our next video, we head back on board the Disney Wish for the Silver Anniversary at Sea.